Joe, how much feedback did you get for your... Uh... <laughs> um, quite a bit. A lot of people didn't really expect me to fight or anything, so got a couple messages and some people were a little surprised, but um, it is what it is, I guess, and, um, you know, just kind of heat in the moment, how I reacted, and, yeah. Just didn't like to play? I mean, you know. Yeah, I, I just, you know, obviously didn't, didn't really like the hit, and um, especially that there was no power play that kind of, you know, uh, <coughs> made me retaliate a little bit. Obviously, you know, um, you know, if there was a penalty call, maybe would have been different just because, you know, our team's going to go on the power play. You know, big games like this, uh, you know, are pretty important special teams. So, um, no, I, I, I looked up, there was no arm in the air, and then, um, you know, kind of went up to him and, and, and asked him, like, if, if he wanted to go. And then at first he kind of laid back and didn't really get an answer. We were just kind of chit-chatting, and then, you know, we, we dropped him, and we saw each other after the game, and so it's all okay. <laughs> When you chit chat, what are you saying to each other? That sounds like it's almost well, a casual conversation. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I was just asking him, like, let's go, let's go. And then um, I know Joe like, came in there, and I don't think he wanted Byram to fight, obviously, you know, with, with his, his injuries. And I honestly didn't even, you know, think about it until after the game when I, when I saw him. I kind of, you know, said, like, you know, I'm sorry for giving you a couple of those punches in the back of the head a little bit. And, and um, I mean, he's a friend of mine, too. You know, I played with him. and, and you just obviously don't want to see someone get hurt. Obviously, you know it's it's a hockey game, and you know you play hard. You you play within the whistles and all that, and everything. You know wants. To, I mean, at all times you want to play clean. So um, no, I was just asking him, let's go. And at first he, you know, wasn't really saying anything. And then, you know, once he said, okay, let's do it, and we just kind of went at it. A question for both of you. I know that you guys try to keep it even day in, day out, week in, week out. It's a long, long season, but it feels like the fans since late February have been living and dying with every game. Now that there's just five and really the finish line is in sight, how do you just keep it even or do you try to use some of the excitement that's buzzing around to, to push you guys? I said each of you will get to answer. <laughs> No, but of course I just got up here uh, and yeah, the games I've played has been of course a lot of pressure. Every game has mattered, every point, uh, but of course it's a excitement. It's uh, the fans. It's it's been uh, it's been a good ride so far, uh, and hopefully we're just gonna keep it going. And the energy they bring to us and. The energy we have in the team, I feel it's in a, in a good spot, and I think we're going to have to keep working on that. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, obviously we played co paid close attention to, um, you know, our, our standings and, um, you know, where we're at all throughout the year. I think it's been a mindset of ours and a goal of ours to, you know, obviously play competitive hockey, but even, you know, um, get into the playoffs. I mean, you know, obviously it's been, you know, uh, a couple of years now that that we haven't gone there, and um, you know, finally we have we have a you know really good chance, and you know we pretty much control our own destiny uh, to this point, and we have all year, and we've uh, gone through you know some adversity, we've gone through stretches where um, you know we were we were we were hot and we were rolling, and um, I think you know it'd be nice to you know finish off on on a good note and. Um, you know, every game, you know, just play our heart, our hearts out, and um, you know, give the fans obviously, um, you know, reward the fans for what they've been giving us all throughout the year. You know, they've been supporting us through, you know, the good stretches, the bad stretches, and even the years. So, um, I mean, I'm not one to say I haven't been here a whole, whole long time, but um, just from paying attention to hockey and um, you know, being a fan when I was younger, and and obviously till now, and actually, um, you know, experiencing. Um, you know the situation and being in the moment, and um, you know we just want to you know play our hearts out every night, and and uh, I think the results will be in our favors if we do that. Just to follow up on something you mentioned, you said you've been paying attention to the, to the standings. Do you watch the game tonight? Do you? Yeah, I I pretty much um, watch hockey every night, more or less, um, when I'm home. I don't really have much to do, so um, <laughs> you know I, I throw on a game on, and and sometimes it. It's going to be in the background, um, you know. I'll, I'll glimpse at it a couple of times, but you know, some games when 
I really want to watch certain games. I'll play, pay close attention to other teams and, you know, watch obviously other players. And, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll be watching tonight. Rooting? No, I don't root, no. <laughs> Do you look for teams or your friends or what? Or it's former teammates? Yeah, some, some of it's former teammates. Um, some of it is just, um, you know, good hockey game, you know, maybe a rivalry game. Um, but yeah, no, it's, I just kind of throw it on. I like watching hockey. I, I love the game, so. I'll I'll watch more or less every night. But don't you want Pittsburgh to lose tonight? I, I mean, I mean, you said you don't root, but yeah, no. I mean, throughout the season, like it's you know obviously, I don't know. Um, it's just like none of those games are obviously as important as as they are right now. Not saying they're not important, but uh, within the circumstances and the situation. But um, you know, obviously. You know, we like those teams behind us to, you know, to, to not get points. And, um, but obviously, um, you know, I can't control that for them or anything. So um, I'm just going to watch the game. And obviously, I don't want them, you know, to win. So, yeah. Simon, how much do you see the coaching staff emphasizing, like, the off-ice approach at this time of the season? Like, same mentality, the same um, just kind of work ethic behind the scenes? Because as these stakes raise up, it's probably important as the coaching, or how, what plays into that? No, it's been a lot of talk with that. Uh, just the mindset we're going into every game, just how to approach the game. Uh, as I said, of course, it's been, uh, the last couple of games has been more, a little bit more important. Every play, every minute out there matters. And uh, yeah, everything around it has been a little bit, a step up, a level up, uh, I think. The way we're going right now with our team game has been uh, it's been improving. Uh, so if we keep going like this, I feel like we have a good chance to to reach the playoffs, and that's everybody's goal in in the locker room and outside as well. Kind of a follow-up: Is that the most difficult thing as athletes that you have is to maintain that balance of no matter where you're at, not get too high or not get too low, just try to focus on the task at hand. Um, yeah, I think so. Um, obviously, you know, these games, um, you know, they come quick and um, there's a lot of quick turnarounds. Um, you know, we're, we're going to be playing every other day and, you know, some, um, you know, obviously games are, are um, you know, are really big at this point and, um, you know, whether we, um, you know, throughout the season, like, um, you know, you lose a game, you, you got to, you know, kind of obviously forget about it a little bit and, and move on to the next. and. And you know you win bit games. There's going to be um, you know a lot of emotions and and all that stuff to go with it. But um, you know we got to kind of reset. And obviously enjoy it for a couple hours and just reset and and um, you know move on to the next challenge. And um, I think we've been doing a pretty good job of that as of late. Um, you know sometimes we we play really good hockey game, but we don't necessarily come out with the result we want. And um, you know, we, we, we look back at video, we, um, you know, learn from our mistakes, learn, see what we can get better. And then there's, you know, another um, emotional game coming up. So, um, yeah, we, we've done a pretty good job of that, of, of um, staying grounded and not getting too high or low. Simon, as you're out there uh, yesterday when they have the empty net at the end of the game, does anything change about your approach to defending in that context as opposed to regular five on five? Uh... Yeah, of course, a little bit. Uh, I think just that last shift was just keeping the pucks on the boards. I think uh, they had pretty good pressure uh, on us during the third. I feel like they were pushing forward. Uh, but yeah, of course, a different kind of mindset I have when I went out there just to, to keep the clock going. Uh, but no, it's been, uh, it's been kind of the same mindset during the whole whole time I've been up here is yeah, strict defensive and offense is going to come, uh, but yeah, I feel like play has been good. It's, can I, sorry, just one for each of you as well. It feels like this Caps team, I mean, Washington obviously and Detroit played many, many years ago for the Cup, but it feels like there's a little bit of a rivalry now just brewing in this last couple of months of the season. You guys both are fighting for the same thing. Talk about just the competitive nature of these games against Washington and, and controlling your own destiny and having an opportunity tomorrow night to really, um, you know, take some take a lead on them. Yeah, I think, um, well, I mean, 
all these games that we're going to play up to this point are, are huge. And, um, you know, it starts tomorrow with, uh, well, it started yesterday, but it starts, uh, you know, obviously continues tomorrow with, with Washington. And, um, yeah, the, the games have been pretty, you know, heated up. Um, um, obviously, we're two teams that are battling for that spot. And games are really important, you know, details and all that matters. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's fun to be a part of these games. Um, you know, it's what we want as players. And, you know what we what we live for and what we dream for is you know to play obviously meaningful games and um, you know we got another opportunity tomorrow and um, you know we're gonna come out um, you know we're gonna come out strong and um, I'm you know really confident with uh, you know with our team and um, you know the guys in our locker room that um, you know we'll pull through tomorrow. Thank you. I mean, do you have any expectation for how, what the atmosphere is going to be like tomorrow? Night? Oh, great. From the room, I'm sure. I mean, our fans have been high, low. Um, trade half our team the deadline last year, and this place was still rocking uh, down the stretch. There's, and, you know, we're, we're, we're this late in it with a purpose. Uh, I expect it to be as usual, um, which is exciting for the group. Any update on Michael Rosby? Uh, I'm unavailable uh, for tomorrow. Everybody else? Uh, is, yep. is it same lineup? Uh, we will go same lineup. Uh, may tinker with some lines a little bit. <laughs> Last night uh, it was a little specific to some matchups, which the guys handled extremely well. So, you know, we'll play that out. But yes, and, um, you know, Wally's still, I wouldn't, you can tell he's not himself, uh, but will be available for us. But we'll probably stay with the same lineup. As How a, do you get more out of? Alex to bring cat. I mean, his, his production has just not been. Uh, yeah, it's just, we just need more looks. Keep him around the looks. Um, obviously, we had two power plays going for a while there, which was still success. I mean, we're top 10 in the league in power play, and it's driven us all year. Uh, but he just, you got to keep getting those looks. And I do think they'll go in, and for the most part, he has. I mean, he's got the puck on his stick in the scoring area three minutes into the game. Uh, you know, he chose us to you know look for a backdoor tap. It was the right play. We almost hit it, but you know those are plays. You see, as long as he keeps getting those looks, you, know, you can tell he's probably some frustration in his game. But we we're in a tight hockey game last night. Um, we shortened the bench a little bit. Uh, he's one of the guys uh, part of the shortened bench, and he made two or three big time wall plays in our zone. Um, that's what's exciting now. Uh, so I think his team game is there and it's willing. It's, of course, uh, a guy like that wants to score, but just keep getting looks. How do you talk to your players about embracing the it all comes down to this kind of final stretch, five games left? Yeah, I think we've been even killed. Same message throughout. We've kind of been in this. It's, it's all or none for a while now. Um, you know, we're literally, um, we just, we've had four or five of these type of games already. Um, so I, th I think the guys have become a little more comfortable with it. Um, so I, I think it's the same message about our starts, uh, doing the right thing, our team game, and our starts. I mean, our last eight games, the only time we've trailed coming out of the first period was the Ranger game two nights ago, and it, it hurt us. It cost us probably a point. Uh, so this group's been dialed. This group's been locked in. Um, you know, I live in the moment myself, but I've been very, very impressed and very proud of this group, how they keep battling, competing through everything. So I, I think they'll show up tomorrow night. Are you going to revisit, uh, you mentioned tinkering lines, Sarnik with that group? or Maybe we'll see that. I think it's a, a lot to do with matchup. You know, you know, Buffalo's <laughs> a different animal. Uh, we had three specific guys. We wanted to check uh, the Thompson line and kind of work back from that. Uh, and they did, and those other two lines, Zarnik and Larkin, uh, both scored five on five. So uh, good, good on the guys for executing. You guys have got three out of four again. Three out of four points against Washington. What's the key against the Capitals? Basically? Not giving them easy offense. Uh, play with pace. I think it's more about us and our game. Um, you know, just they have some elite talent. I mean, I just, I, I still, in awe of OV, the game we beat him 8 3 here. He had the puck on a slot 90 seconds in the game. And the point we got in Washington, 
Uh, we grind out to go 3-3. There's a minute and a half left. He walks all along the goal. He just It's an uncanny instinct uh, for that high scoring area. So just the type of guy you want to limit. Uh, but I still think it's about us. If we're playing the game correctly, our team game's in a good spot. We're playing north. We're managing pucks. We're not turning it over. Uh, we give ourselves the best chance. We were asking um, Joe and Simon just a little bit about the game tonight. Can you root for Toronto? I mean, you obviously, <laughs> it helps you guys in Pittsburgh. Of course. It's the, the great thing about still being in this battle so late is a little scoreboard watching. It's a reality of it. Uh, so, of course. But, um, again, if you got to take care of your own business. And every team that's had stretches of taking care of their own business, I mean, look at Pittsburgh, the, the heater they're on. Washington had their run. We've taken care of our business of late. We find ourselves waking up this morning over the line. Uh, so, yes, of course, we'll root for specific teams down the stretch for a little help, but it's, it's still going to be about us. Is Rasmussen still in that day-to-day -day range? Yeah, he's still in that day-to-day -day range. Obviously, he's dealing with an upper body, physically, um, lower body, energy. He's, he's, he's ripping and ready to go. It's just a matter of... Um, being fully ready with that upper body. What goes into choosing the line you want to send out the shift after a goal, and what are you looking for on that shift? Momentum. It's, it's, a, it's a great question because it's such a huge, you know, I mean, kicking myself back at the Ranger game. We just score, and we were strict to the matchup. That matchup got us the 3-2 lead. Uh, the Rangers are an animal with how deep they are, and they scored 30 seconds later. Was it the matchup? I don't know. We trust everyone throughout our lineup, but... We talk about momentum all the time, uh, and it's important. And you know, we talk about momentum uh, starts of periods, ends of periods, and and after goals on both sides. Uh, so there, it's real, and, and it's 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 a thought. And you know, we talk about just winning those shifts and those key moments because momentum is is real in our sport. Is there a difference to what that looks like, whether it's a goal for or a goal yeah. against? Yeah, in my mind, it's more a goal go against. Um, it's just winning the shift after what that looks like. Uh, not giving up easy offense. Again, you're looking at that Ranger game. Finally work our tails off to go up 3-2. And we lose the shift. Ends up in our net. All of a sudden, you're, you're dealing with a 3-3 game going to third. So it's probably more about keeping out of the net. As the season has winded down here, how much of a sense are you getting of maybe the younger players leaning on the more experienced guys and even the more experienced guys teaching and helping the younger players a little bit yeah. more? Yeah, well, the young guys, I mean, we're playing for our season last night, and we've got Raymond, Sider, and Evanson out to protect the lead. Um, and that's organic. I think that speaks volumes of them. So I think you lead a little bit of both of them, but it's very exciting and very positive that those guys are the ones we're turning to. Anything can happen, but do you foresee Alex this entire Stretch no, we're, it's a game by game. Uh, we've asked a lot about Alex from Alex. You know, even you saw our practice today. It was more of a man, maintenance day. Last night was the start of six games in ten days. Uh, we're finishing the season a three and four and a back to back. Um, and different games look different for a goaltender. Last night was a volume game for him. Uh, he was on his toes the last 30 minutes of that game, especially in that third period. So he was one of the guys that took this day off from the skate today. So we'll be game by game, and he'll be our goalie uh, tomorrow. Is there any update on a potential conditioning start for Billy? Uh, yeah, we, he's going to go practice um, this week down there, and he'll look to get a game this weekend, uh, if not two. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.